Do you ever feel lost when studying biochemistry? Well, stay tuned to learn about five free resources that will help you learn and understand biochemistry. Hi, I'm GTAG, and I'm currently a second year medical student studying here in the Philippines. My goal with this channel is to be a resource for students by offering study tips and by talking about my experience as a medical student here in the Philippines. All right, let's get started. Biochemistry is another one of those subjects that every first year medical student has to take. But it can also be super confusing because there's so many things you have to memorize. All these pathways, all of these molecules, all of these enzymes, all these small details that you have to know. And things don't always make sense when your teacher explains them or when you read them from the textbook. So in today's video, I want to talk about five free online resources that can help you learn and study biochemistry and hopefully see it from a different perspective. Resource number one, PowerPoints and lecture. If you watched my other video on the five resources to help you study anatomy, then you know that the first thing that you should study is the PowerPoint or is the lecture. Because chances are pretty good that the quizzes or the exams will be based off what was taught in lecture or what was included in the PowerPoint because those are the things that your teacher thought was most important for you to know. So make sure that you listen well during the lecture and look out for those things that the teacher spends a lot of time on. Listen to those things that the teacher emphasizes because more than likely, those things are gonna show up on your exam. Resource number two, AK Lectures. Let me tell you about AK Lectures. Honestly, this was my favorite resource when studying biochemistry in my first year of medical school. AK Lectures is a channel on YouTube and it pretty much covers every topic that you'll study in biochemistry. His videos are 10 to 15 minutes long and they're personally my favorite because he describes pathways and he describes concepts super clearly and in a step-by-step -step way. So it's really easy to see what comes first, what comes second, what comes third, and so on and so forth. But if you're someone who likes more detailed explanations, then maybe resource number three is for you. Resource number three, Ninja Nerd. Okay, maybe you haven't heard of AK Lectures, but chances are you've heard of Ninja Nerd. Ninja Nerd is another YouTube channel that so many people, including many of my classmates, swear by. I have to admit I haven't watched too many of his videos because most of them are 30 minutes to an hour long. But the ones that I have watched have been super helpful. He's able to explain concepts super clearly, he has great diagrams, and includes lots of high yield information that will help you survive biochem. Resource number four, Khan Academy. If you've made it this far in your educational journey, then you've probably heard of Khan Academy. But in case you haven't, Khan Academy is another YouTube channel that has the vision of providing free, high-quality education to anyone, wherever you are in the world. It's also a great biochemistry resource because it'll pretty much cover all the topics you'll need to study in your first year of medical school. They have videos on the Krebs cycle, electron transport chain, lipids, gluconeogenesis, and pretty much every other biochemistry topic. And what's nice is that their videos are only 10 to 15 minutes long. So watching their videos is a good way to preview topics, but it's also a good way to help you review topics and cram if needed the night before an exam. Resource number five, Dirty Medicine. The last resource I wanna talk about is a YouTube channel called Dirty Medicine. I have to admit that the first time I heard someone talk about Dirty Medicine, I just knew it was one of those things I wanted to check out. And I'm glad I did because ever since then, it's become a staple for me, even up until now as a second year student. The channel's called Dirty Medicine because they offer quick and dirty tips to help you remember the most high yield information about a certain topic. And one of my favorite things about Dirty Medicine is the mnemonics that they teach. All the mnemonics that I use in medical school pretty much come from Dirty Medicine. Aside from the great mnemonics, he also has simple and easy to follow diagrams of the most important pathways. He shows you which enzymes are the rate limiting enzymes, and he also shows you how each pathway can be regulated. Sometime a while back, someone created an Excel spreadsheet to show all the videos that Dirty Medicine has to help you organize and keep track of your studying. 
The link to that checklist and the links to all the other resources that I mentioned in today's video are linked in the description box below. All right, that pretty much wraps up the video for today. If you found this information useful, please leave a like, leave a comment, please subscribe so that you don't miss any of these helpful study tips in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Are you having trouble with anatomy? Maybe you want to check out my other video over here where I talk about five resources that'll help you study anatomy.